tell them again about what we're trying to do to save Vegas. Oh yeah. So ja- so we have what we're doing to save Vegas. Well, we have all of these cool songs, but the newest one coming out. We have quite a few actually that are kind of save three. Vegas, like three. three. We have we care a lot. Yep. Uh, the Raiders theme song, which is Vegas, and which is the Vegas Ra- Vegas Raiders theme song, and now our newest one is "Fight for Your Right to Party" with updated Steve Sisolak lyrics. Steve closed up all the clubs, but you still wanna go. Here's what I found. Oh, Siri found something for you guys. Dope Oakland Raider, Raiders now officially renamed Thank the you. Las Vegas Raiders on January twenty second. Thank you, Siri. I don't know. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> she thought I was talking to her. Um, yeah, they did actually name them. That's funny that she told me that because that was a, actually an interesting thing. They named them earlier than they were supposed to. That was a little bit of weird stuff going on here. But um, where are they? Yeah, how did they know that? Yeah. So how, they, did, how did he know that? And how did Jim Mirren know to sell stock? Mm-hmm. Yeah, there was a lot. You guys, this is a lot of political this stuff. Is, this There's is, a lot of people that could get in trouble because this, some people they, knew and they listen. It's so fucking obvious. It's called. It's only been a couple of weeks. So you guys want to hear about F, Jim Mirren? F, hold on. SEC investigation take years. Yeah. So it's only been a couple of weeks, but if that if he, I mean. They got their hands stuck in... The you guys want to hear Jim Mirren. This guy's probably going to be investigated big time because listen to this. So Jim Mirren was the, was the CEO of MGM? Mm-hmm. CEO of MLife kind of or MGM, now. MLife, you know, MGM Properties. Yeah. And he, uh, he did he retire or what did he... Well, he resigned. He probably. just resigned. He just resigned in what year? Uh, a couple, two months ago. Two months ago, okay. Well, I didn't know if it was 2019 or 2020. Two months so ago. two months ago, he resigned, sold all of his stocks. Right before the COVID scare. Right before the COVID scare. Right this, the okay, you guys, this kid's deeper. Sold all of his MGM stocks, okay? Everything. Everything. Quit. Quit. And then goes to work for Steve Sisolak. Yeah, how do you know that? But sold all of his MGM stocks right before peak. he knew, at the peak, before they knew they were going to do and guess, a stunt. And, guess, and they knew they were going to do this. And guess who's buying back at $7 and $9 now? And now they're, all buy, now they're all buying them back for cheaper. So they sell it for He sold it when it was super hot, you know, when when they knew. Right they, before they were going to fucking Right before it. they were going to do this to fuck with the economy to take down Trump. So they knew, so he goes, resigns, sells all of his stocks, and works for Steve Sisolak now. Hmm. Tell me that's not that's investigative that's stuff right there. You guys, you can't do that with, uh, you can't do that kind it's of stuff. Lucky. It's with No, lucky. no, there's there's huge regulations on stuff with stocks. And that things like that where it just appeared to be luck, you can still get in trouble for because there's, they don't believe in luck when it comes to stock market. You got, you got to prove you had a reason. Now, he has a reason that he resigned, but here's a couple things. He didn't have a reason to cash out. He didn't have a reason to abruptly resign. And abruptly cash out. And he didn't have a reason to uh, uh, name the stadium two months in advance, surprising everybody, including the NFL. Right, they weren't even allowed to name them the Raider, the Las Vegas Raiders until, um, what was the date it was supposed to be? Uh, March March 18th, the same day of the shutdown. March 18th, listen to this. So they were not allowed to, by the NFL, call them the Las Vegas Raiders until March 18th, 2020. But, as Siri just told me, which we were at this event, on January 22nd, they did a surprise thing after we had been, after the roof had had all these issues. So if you guys don't know, they messed up the roof big time for the Raiders Stadium. They had to get approval to uh, extend it because they messed it up so much and they needed more time, more money. Um, they're now, they're, their original budget was 1.8. They're now like up to like 2.3 billion. They're, they're way over their original budget. She keeps telling me some more stuff over here. Siri keeps thinking I'm talking to her. Um, and so all this stuff happened, and it was a real nightmare. And the, the media was starting to get on it, and we, because we are the ones pushing it, really, the local media. We pushed the local media, and we we're always barking about the Raiders Stadium because we knew all about um, they had put together these roof trusses incorrectly. Real nightmare. Um, bolts are flying off the stadium. Real structural issues. They had to bring in five top engineers around the world to figure out what was wrong. It was a big deal. So then, they uh, one day, next day, uh, uh, after you know all this stuff starting to hit the media and people are uh, panicking, they come the next day and they go, oh, we're going to name them today, the Las Vegas Raiders, which was against the NFL regulations. They said they were not allowed to until March, March 18th. But they changed that. 
and Governor Sislak was there, and a bunch of the Raiders, and it was this pop, this pop, it just came out of nowhere, this little celebration, we found out about, like, I think they, that, the day before, they announced it, and then the next day, they're all there, we went, um, it was right in front of the stadium, in the back, and all of a sudden, they just named the, name them, even though they said they were not allowed to, until March 18th, but then all out of nowhere, January 22nd, okay, now they're the Las Vegas Raiders, okay, now, Jim Mirren cashes out all of his stocks and resigns MGM. MGM sells a ton of properties, and they had this five-year buyback thing. So not only did Jim Mirren cash out, MGM sold at least five properties to Blackstone, and they had this um, five-year buyback plan that in five years they want to buy back their properties. So they knew that it was going to tank and then they want it buy it back in five years. That's their plan. So they hope in five years this will all be resolved. Five years. So you're telling me all of this is coincidence and these guys work for Sislek. So this guy cashes out all of his stock two months before this shutdown, goes to work for Sislek, and now they do the shutdown. You tell me, oh, it's this deadly virus. No, they allowed construction the entire time. They allowed their Raiders stadium to continue when four workers tested positive. No, they knew what was going on, you guys. And they've been trying to take down Trump. Remember, they tried to impeach him. So the next thing was jump on this virus. China was already uh, doing it. I think China was the first to kind of promote it. And then they're like, hey, let's jump on that. Because China was trying to fool us. And even Trump said it's a hoax from China. Don't, don't believe him. Remember in the beginning? And everyone jumped on Trump's case and said he was not being a good leader and all this nonsense. So like I said, I, I don't personally like Trump either, but in this particular case, he was right. It was a hoax from China. And then uh, we're all cruising along. Everything's going fine. You know, you know, in Vegas, we didn't, I remember people were talking about this, but oh, whatever, everything's good. And then all of a sudden, MGM closes all their properties before Steve Sislak even uh, uh, said for them to. They just decided they're going to close everything. And then on March 17th, so the day before they were even supposed to ever be allowed to name the Las Vegas Raiders, the Las Vegas Raiders, Steve Sislek shuts down all of Las Vegas and Nevada, except for the construction of the Raiders Stadium and all construction. So you tell me these men did not know what was going on before this happened. You tell me just a coincidence that MGM got out of all their properties and or half other properties and then uh, Jim Mirren cashed out on all of his stocks and they named the they jumped the next day to name the Raiders uh, early. You're telling me all this just coincidence. Well, I'll tell you what. When they investigate for uh, corruption with stocks, they do not accept coincidence as a, an answer or as an excuse. I don't know if you guys watch some of these shows like Billions where they show a lot about the stock market, but you are not allowed to. They're always cheating on there, but those things are investigated. Um, and if these guys cheated, I ain't the one to investigate, but there's someone I'm sure looking into it because it doesn't look good when you cash out on millions to billions of dollars of stocks right before the economy tanks. On something that we're already saying the Democratic governors are pushing this. Like, I'm not the only one saying that now. There are so many states that people are protesting. Hi there. Morning. Thank you. Oh, we just got a delivery. <laughs> cool. Thank you, delivery drivers. No, I really do love the delivery drivers. I don't mean to bitch, but I couldn't believe they didn't deliver me five pounds, and then they said they did. So that's like one of those things where you're like, Man, now they have to literally just take my word, and we're good enough customers that they did, but I don't like that. I, I don't like for it to have to be like, well, our delivery driver is saying they delivered it, and I'm like, well, I didn't get it, and I don't like that feeling, you know, because then you're kind of like, luckily, though, for the most part, you know, if you're a valuable customer, they'll 
trust you, but I don't want to ever have to put them in that position. Um, but unfortunately, I did. They said they delivered eight, and I only got three. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I would have been at least happier if I got like four or five. You know, maybe they missed three. But they delivered me three, and I was missing five. So that was such a substantial amount. Like, I was missing more than I got. <laughs> I was like, I'm missing five, only received three. I didn't even get half an hour. So, um, yeah, but uh, anyways, I was able to get some organic bones from Whole Foods. So that, oh, I think, I think, I hope they delivered them. That's what I just came, hopefully. But see what, you don't know till it arrives if they even had the things, because sometimes they're out of stock. But usually when they're out of stock, they take it off of your order. But that's not what happened with this other order. And this was an Amazon Fresh. This is Amazon Whole Foods. There's all these different things now. I don't know if you guys know. There's Amazon, then there's Amazon Fresh, and then there's Amazon Whole Foods. And they're three different things that you order from. Um, the Amazon Fresh is on the same app as Amazon you use. But then um, for Whole Foods, you use the Amazon Prime Now app. So it's like it's the same company, but it's kind of not. There's so many different things. So. Did we end up with any bones, Jedi Rich? Check. Yeah, see, oh, I hope. Come on, come on, come on. You guys, bones are my, this is what the Jedi live off of here, and we haven't had them in a while. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think so. I think I feel something frozen in here. That's me. One pound. Oh, that's what they're Oh, yes! Okay, they only had one pound of the meat, though. Oh, jeez, they better have adjusted my thing. I'm gonna shit my pants if they did that to me again. Better not, I ordered three, and they only sent one. If they say, told me they, you guys look, look at this, but I'm gonna do this on film. One, okay, we have one. It better say one on my order when I go to that app after I get off here. If it says three, is that what happened? You order and then they only have one, but look at this, bones. This is what I got. This is all I got from my order. I ordered three of these. One arrived. So hopefully they updated that. Hopefully. Usually Whole Foods is good about it. But this morning, that's what I was saying. I ordered. I had to order more. So this is my second. So first I tried to order eight pounds. Got one. Or got three. Then I tried to order three pounds. I got one. So I have four pounds. So that'll work. But um, I got these bones. But what a mess. It's a lot of work trying oh, yeah, to get. Here you go. You can check. Oh yeah, let's. Oh, let's see you guys. So then we'll find out. Let's see what they said today for this one. Out of stock too. Okay. Thank you, Whole Foods. Thank you. That's usually what you see. I'll show you guys. You usually see out of stock too. But that's not what happened this morning. Can you put that in the freezer in the, in the fridge and I'll put those Explain in Explain what this is. Yeah, oh, these are, oh yeah, let me, oh, yeah, let me show you these, but yeah, or he's showing I'll you. I'll hold it, you talk. That's organic beef bones. Uh, what we do is I put those in a stew for eight hours in our crock pot with water and rosemary and it makes the most amazing uh, bone broth. I don't know if you guys have ever had bone broth too. It's a, it's a strong flavor if you're not used to it. It's kind of an acquired taste, um, but we love it. And then this is just organic uh, ground beef from Whole Foods. So. You remember. You put uh, the, the bones in the freezer and that in the fridge if you could, thank you. And that, I'm about to be off here. So, oh, okay. okay, so that made me happy. Oh, they no. did that one right. See, that's what they should have done. But this morning, that's not what happened. They, they said eight were delivered to me. And then when I went to go into my order, there was no way to get a refund. I was like, oh, this is ridiculous because that's like $50 because those are like $9, $9 a piece. No, those ones were like, those were $9.99 a piece. These ones are $8.99 a piece. $9.99 a piece, and they didn't deliver me five of them. I was like, that's like 50 bucks. No, no, no. So I did finally get a hold of someone, but I had to scour. Uh, I checked, like I said, there's all these different apps. So I checked all the apps for numbers. All those numbers on the apps go to just a, a, a person that says, sorry, no, we can't help you at Amazon right now due to this COVID. I'm like, what? And then the chat's not available. But then I went to my email for Amazon Fresh, and I got an Amazon Fresh number. It literally, when you called, it said, this is Amazon Fresh, because that's who I ordered from was Amazon Fresh. But it's through the Amazon app. What a mess, right? So many things now. But um, so I did get a guy. 
and he did uh, refund me. That'll be coming back, and you know, it takes like five days to get back to your account, but at least it'll come back. Um, but I was panicking because there was no, like, there was no way for me to get a hold of someone. I was like, I was like, oh my gosh, what if your order comes? It's wrong, and now they say non-refundable, and uh, sorry, we can't answer the phone. I'm like. Uh, so I, I was like, we don't have a lot of money. yeah, that's huge to us. I mean, that's huge. Like I was just saying earlier, oh, we are short on rent. I, I need to go pay today. We're already behind. We've been just, they've been letting us, we pay only weekly here, but then we've even been behind on that. So it's like, they let you pay for a couple of days, come back, pay for, I was supposed to go back yesterday and we didn't even have it. So it's a mess. It's a total mess here in Vegas. All due to Governor Sisolak's nonsense of this um, non-deadly virus. This virus that most people are recovering from. It was a political stunt, you guys. And if you don't believe that, you really need to wake up. Because I'm not the only one saying it anymore. I mean, there's a lot of people that are protesting in states now. Like I said, um, uh, Brendan Carr, uh, the FCC guy, was talking about that um, they are trying to silence people that are protesting in states, and that is not right. On Facebook. On Facebook. Thank oh, gosh, I thought that light was burning, but it was just your, like, he did a bong hit, but um, it looked like our lamp was, like, on fire. It was <laughs> for a second, because I didn't see it. was I was like, why is that lamp burning? <laughs> anyway, so. Right. Okay, guys, I'm going to get off of here. Uh, that was my Say thanks, guys. beef beef story for the day. Please follow up. Please subscribe. Oh yeah, wait, wait, wait. That's what. Oh, that's what I didn't finish. Hold on. Jedi Rich has been working on that video. It's almost done. The fight for your right, and it's with the updated lyrics about Sisolak. So it's awesome. It is like the coolest video. He showed me the preview. So much fun. It'll be available soon. I don't want to ask him when because he hates when I say that. So it'll be soon. But if you guys want to see more of our content, we're always on JediRich.com. But then uh, check us out on YouTube. Please subscribe. We're get, trying to get more subscribers on YouTube. If you guys are watching me on Periscope, please go over and subscribe on YouTube. Even if you don't normally do YouTube, all you need is a Gmail. Any Gmail. And you can put any name. You don't have to put your real name. They let you put any name you want on there if people want to be anonymous. you know. Um, and you just need a Gmail. And then um, subscribe, please, because we're trying to get some subscribers over there. And uh, YouTube's a lot of fun. You know, we're trying to get to where we can do live broadcasts over there, too. You need a 1,000 subscribers before you can do live like this. On YouTube, you have to have a 1,000. Periscope, you can do it with no subscribers, which is cool. But, you guys, check us out over there. It's Jedi Rich, creative producer Thanks on for watching, YouTube. Everyone. All right, guys. Check you later. Like I'm still a day yo, and it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a rolly or Senko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get, get up or get out, get down. Get down, 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 down. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out. Check it out. Check it out.